Hi, it's me again, Dawn from Always in Stitches. Guess how I know my name? Because I got a new apron and it's got my name on it. Isn't that exciting? And I got a name tag too. So double, double memory right there. Double Dawn. Double Dawn. Double down, double Dawn. Pretty awesome. So anyway, um, today at Always in Stitches, we're going to talk about what's new. And what is new is even newer than new because it doesn't start till January, but I'm excited to tell you about it because today I'm going to be Santa's helper. Santa's little helper. Not so little, but Santa's little helper. Do you have a Santa in your life? Let me tell you about my Santa. He's one of those people where he is clueless. You can drop hints all day long, all month long, all year long. He doesn't get it. You either have to buy it and say, you owe me the money, or you have to write it down or put it in your Amazon wish list, or put it here at the store in a wish box, and he can come here and shop. Isn't that a great idea? Yeah, I think so too. So, to start off with something very exciting and new is going to be our Aurifil, It's let me get it right, Aurifil Color Bundlers 2021. This is going to be a program where you can build your stash of Aurifil thread colors. Now, if you're like me, I piece in practically the same gray all the time because I like a certain style of fabric. I really am into the Civil War reproduction kind of fabrics. So I use just kind of a putty gray color to piece. But when I top stitch, I like to match the colors. And right now I'm making some pretty awesome uh, see-through bags. And it's gonna have some a lot of top stitching. So I'm excited to get out my colored threads. And a way that you can build your stash is one month at a time receiving three coordinating colors. This is a program put together by Aurafil, but we are subscribing into it and you can be a member. There is a 40 weight club and a 50 weight club. 40 weight's a little heavier, 50 weight is for piecing. 40 weight I would use for like applique, top stitching, that sort of thing, something that you want to show up a little bit more. But what the program is centered around are these animals. And I don't know if they're uh, endangered. They're endangered. Oh, they are endangered. Yeah, this one's critically endangered. Oh my goodness, that's horrible. But so they're gonna get some kind of uh, advertisement and some kind of publicity for being uh, inspiring these thread colors, okay? So this is just four months worth that you're gonna see here. We didn't wanna put an overwhelm you and put all 12 of them out. We wanted something to be a surprise. So if your Santa chooses to get you this for Christmas, he can go on the website with his credit card and pay ahead. It takes $10 to sign up and you have to sign a contract that says that you're going to give us your money once a month. And we are going, you can either have it mailed to you, you can come in the store and pick it up, you can come and have it uh, curbside delivered. But how you can do it, either, either in store, you can come and pay and sign the contract, or you can uh, have your Santa do it, or you can get online and do it. So it's going to be very exciting. And to top it off, other quilt stores are going to be doing this, but we here at Always in Stitches, we've got a little extra program that's going to go along with it. Not only are you going to be able to build your thread stash, but we've got a little secret, top secret program, and it's going to be how to build your fabric stash. Now we all need some more fabric in our fabric stash, don't we? Absolutely. Oh, of course we do. So uh, it's gonna be exciting. We haven't worked out all the details yet, but uh, it'll be up on the website pretty soon. So look for that, okay? And join in on the fun. I think it's gonna be exciting. If nothing else, these colors are just gonna be beautiful just to hang on your wall. It's just gonna be a beautiful display. 
So uh, that comes in a tote too to carry on. Oh, that's right. I forgot about the storage tote. Tote. It does come. Yeah, it does come in a storage tote. You get that for free for joining the program, and right? Then, yes, and you also get um, a paper pieced pattern. Oh, that's right. There's two patterns that come with it. It's a, a pieced pattern or an applique pattern. So I don't think it's either or. I think you get them both. Yes. So how exciting! And so uh, to do uh, to inspire you to use your threads, that's what the uh, patterns are for. And oh, how exciting is that program? I'm I've not. I'm doing it just for the pattern. Are you really? Okay, that'll be fun. Well, you better get signed up, Peter, because there's only limited space. We only ordered a limited amount because we had no clue how well this was going to go over, but I think it's going to be gangbusters. I think that this is really something unique and really fun. And who doesn't like to get a gift that lasts every month? I mean, 12 times you're going to get a gift throughout the year. So I think that's pretty special, don't you? So speaking of that, we have another thing that's going to be a once a month club type, type situation. And it's going to be pillows, pillows of the month. And it's by uh, Riley Blake, one of our uh, fabric manufacturers. Pillow kits of the month club. Here are uh, just a few samples of the pillows. The pillows measure 20 by 20. And they're designed by 12 different designers that design fabric for Riley Blake. And I'm going to show you that. I need that couch just for the pillow. Yeah. So here are the different pillows by the different designers. I know you'll recognize some of those people. Lori Holt. So some of your favorite designers might be right there. And... If you didn't want to make 12 pillows, you could make quilt. They could be quilt blocks. They could be blocks that go into a table runner. You could make three of the same block. You're going to get the pattern. On the website, it tells you all about how to sign up and how to get this pillow form for free when you sign up. I'm so excited because these are just really nice plush pillows. But... You don't have to have 12 of them. The pillow form, the pillow designs are going to be interchangeable. You can just change them in and out of the same pillow. So you don't have to store pillows. You can just store the pillow tops. Isn't that exciting? The kit's going to come with everything you need. Backing, binding, the fabric, the, the uh, pattern, everything. So I think this is going to be a fun project. And uh, again... It's a once a month. It's going to start in January. Send Santa in with his credit card or just take it out of his wallet or her wallet or whoever's wallet and sign up. And um, by the end of next year, December, you'll have 12 different patterns. And if you choose to put them into pillows, you'll have 12 different pillows. You could have 20 by 20 is a nice little size for a wall hanging too. Wouldn't that be a cute wall hanging? So, I think that's going to be a fun program. I'd love to see that in a quilt. Yeah, it would make a nice seasonal quilt because they seem, seem to be seasonal, some of them. Yeah. So, you could have a quilt that just represents the fun. seasons. Like, look at this beautiful snowflake. That, that, that by would, be, would be an awesome quilt, like blue and it white would, and red and white. It would, definitely. I think so too. So, and then Valentine's, St. Patty's Day. Everybody must have got a month. To, uh, to do. So I think that's going to be an exciting program. All you have to do now is to find out any information on the things I'm talking about today is to go to our website. Here it is, www.alwaysinstitches1, the number one, dot com. Did you get a good picture of that, Peter? And then... If you actually are ready to pay and want to do it on the website, you can go to orders at alwaysinstitches1.com and that's where you can place an order. Okay? All righty.
Now the next thing I'm going to show you is something I'm personally excited about because I love to make samples for the store. And so when we make samples for the store, we gather all the things that it takes, we write it all down on a sheet of paper, they take it out of inventory, we go home and we stitch it up. And it's just so nice to have everything you need right there, handy, everything you need. That's what these uh, kits are all about. This one comes in a beautiful box. I'm gonna turn it around. It's called Merry Little Christmas Quilt Kit. You know, to me, it doesn't really say Christmas, Christmas. It could be all winter, but these are the colors I use in my kitchen. I think this would be such a fun quilt for the kitchen. Now, who puts quilts in their kitchen? Well, quilters. The size is 76 by 76. I think I have a wall in my kitchen that is That's 76 what I was by 76. That's a big kitchen. Yeah. Not so big, but a nice size wall. Yeah. So uh, I decorate my uh, kitchen in jadeite. I have a huge uh, jadeite collection and uh, peppermints. And I leave them up all year long. I don't care. It's my house, I can do what I want. So I have peppermint. It's my kitchen, I can do, do what, what I, I want, want to. to. Exactly, exactly. Now, the fun part about this box, it's got this little magnetic closure. You flip it up and look inside. It's even decorated on the inside. It's got this really cute panel. Peter and I are gonna stand up so we can show it. I love the peppermint tree. Can you get a close-up of the peppermint tree, Peter? You know, that'd be fun to make. Just take a bunch of peppermints. Yeah. And a candy cane and make a tree out of it. Yeah, them. you could melt them like on a pan. Look at this little bunny. Where? Oh, up at the top. Oh, bunny. yeah, he's cute. What about the pin cushion trees down at the bottom? Pin cushion trees. Oh, I missed that one. The tomatoes. Pin cushion. There's even one in the chimney. I might have to buy this kit. Wait, it's on a spool. There's a spool in the chimney with a needle and thread. Yeah, I might have to buy this kit because I think this is pretty darn cute. Okay. What else comes with the kit is the background. Look at these fun plaids. Oh my goodness. <gasps> I love those. Love those, love those. Look at this cute little print. And then here's the tree. And here's the pattern. So you can see you're going to cut up that panel and use those little individuals. And then, see the secondary design is kind of like a block? Yeah. You've got like a white block, and then you've got this block that has this little flower print. So uh, that's for the star blocks that you're going to make out of this plaid, this plaid here. And then this is going to be the stars. Oh, I just love this. I love this. And then that tree with little white dots. I bet that's a piece. You have to piece that. Isn't that fun? I love that. And I love this box. Just the box is awesome. It's almost nib proof. I'm telling you, what does that mean? It means that nibbers can't be nibbed. Oh. Yeah, well. It's pretty tight. You well, know, at our house, there's a lot of nibbing. There's a lot of nibbing going on. And what he means, the word nibbing, he means to look at it ahead of time. Investigate. Uh, Get into it. Find out what it is. Because when it's all wrapped up, you don't know what it is. So you have to. And I am an expert at sneaking a peek. Let's find out. Um, I know how to remove tape without tearing the paper. I am so good at it. You can breathe on it. <sighs> Loosen up that uh, sticky stuff. And it comes right off. Now my mom, she always used that uh, cheap, cheap paper. And sometimes it would tear, 
but I know how to do it to make it go right back together without even looking like that it's been touched. One time, my mom, thinking that she could outsmart me, she put my name on my sister's presents and my sister's name on her presents, on my presents, and it only took me one gift to open up to figure it out. So then I just opened all the presents that had her name on them and knew what I was getting for Christmas. So, ha, 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 Mom. <laughs> I love Christmas. These are the things about Christmas that I love are all these stories. Everybody says, well, aren't you disappointed on Christmas Day? You know everything you're going to get. Oh, no, it was very exciting when I was sneaking a peek. That was more exciting than getting a present. <laughs> So, yeah, weird. I can't help it. I just love uh, being mischievous. This kit right here. Oh, this look is, at all those half square triangles. I love making half square triangles, Peter. I mean, they're, they kind of are my passion. I do love making them. And Lisa Bonjean, who has Primitive Gatherings, she came up with a collection um, a while ago called Flower Garden Gatherings. This quilt is 82 by 82, so that's a good bed size quilt. And look inside what you get. You get the pattern, of course. But look at all this fabric. It's a, a ton of fabric! I think these are so beautiful. I'm going to turn it around, okay? So you can get a good look without the uh, packaging. Look at that. This is one of my favorite uh, kind of Civil War backgrounds. And then all these muted tones. Oh, yummy, delicious. But that's not all. Look at this. But wait, there's more. There's more. Lisa has included in this her very own triangle paper. Now, if you don't know what triangle paper is, you actually sew on the paper. Oh, did you need to see it without the glare? I was going to get a paper out. It is paper that you actually sew on. What you do is you put two fabrics together, right sides together. Then you lay the paper on top and sew on the lines of the paper. And then when you cut them apart, it makes perfect, exact half square triangles. And these just happen to finish at two inches. Before they're sewn in, they're going to be two and a half. But once they get sewn in, they're two inch triangles, half square triangles. It shows you how, where to cut and where to sew. You sew on the dotted line. You go the way that the arrows go. You can do it in one continuous thing. It's pretty awesome. And then you cut on all the solid lines. This half square triangle paper piece is exactly the size to fit on one of these pieces of fabric. So there's very little waste. It's pretty awesome how it all goes together. It goes together pretty fast. You know what really grinds my gears about half square triangles? What is that? Is when the designer has me cut them out but then have to go back and then trim resize them, again them. And yes. resize them again. Yes. Yeah. This would save me all that time. It would definitely because they're going to come out perfect oh. every time. Yeah. You're still cutting them, but you before you were still cutting them too, yeah, but then you had to go back and recut them. How ridiculous. And think of all that fabric that you're, you know, wasting because of that. This there's very little waste on the fabric. So, pretty fun. I enjoy a nice half square triangle paper. And it's awesome that she makes them the exact size of the fabric. I think they, uh, she even makes them like for charm packs and for layer cakes, five inches, 10 inches. Do you have any recommendations of like stitch length or, or needle? When I uh, foundation piece anything through paper, I always lower my stitch length to 1.5. That's just where I'm comfortable with. It perforates the paper a lot better, and so it's easier to tear off. So yeah, good point there, Peter. So what a nice gift under the tree from Santa, right there. Everything you need to make that beautiful quilt. Even if you didn't want the to make that all those half square triangles, just this fabric collection's beautiful. 
and it comes in this nice box. The next one is so appropriate for right now, Thanksgiving, with all the pumpkins going around. Snowball block, you're just going to do a connecting corner on each side of this square, and it makes a little snowball block. Then you're going to do all these pumpkins the same way. You're going to do a connecting corner on each one of the pumpkins, kind of rounds them out a little bit. And then you've got these beautiful leaves, very pretty fall leaves on the corners for the cornerstones. Very unique, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. And then look, you've got these applique pumpkin stems. Now, if you're afraid to applique, I got a surprise for you. Wait, there's more. There's more. Here's a little guide, tells you kind of the placement, how you put the things on the fabric and cut it out. Here's the, ki uh, the uh, instructions. Look at how easy the instructions are. Did we say what size this one was? 66 by 78. 66 by 78. There's your applique pieces. But that's not the size of those little bitties on the front. Right. And then also you get the instructions for the pumpkin seeds table runner, and this is a sweet little pillow sleeve. Oh, my goodness. I want that pillow. Isn't that fun? It sort of looks like a travel pillow size. What do you think? 16 by 12. 12, 12 by 16. I oh. think that's a travel pillow size which is very nice. So that's the pattern. And did I say I had a little surprise? Yeah. Look, the appliques are already cut out. What? Yeah, already cut out. And there's more. The fusible is on there. I'm telling you, they think of everything. And this is pretty awesome. Look at this. Look, there's the pumpkin stems. Pumpkin stems. I don't know what the heck that is. I think it's a pumpkin stem. And look, here's the leaves, all different leaves. Is that cool or what? That is super cool. I mean, if they're, if you're going to buy a kit, half the work's done for you right here. No this would be the no kit to buy. This is, this is remarkable. I didn't even know this was in this until I opened this kit up a while ago because... <laughs> We've done this video already once today. We did a silent version. We did the silent, the uh, silent films. We thought we were back in the silent film days. And so we did a, a one where there was no sound. And so Peter and I are... Take two. Taking two. In Studio B. Yep. And so here's the fabric. Luscious fall colors. I love this. Uh, I don't know if I can get the glare off of it or not, but uh, this border fabric, it has incorporates all the colors. You get a charm pack of the entire collection. This is called Nature's Glory, and again, the quilt is 60 by 78. Perfect for putting over the sofa for this time of year. Your favorite Lazy Boy chair on the back. Santa, I need this. Look at the box. It is so uh, nice to wrap because, you know, it's one of those square, non-odd shaped things. And when you're giving it to somebody, they think they're probably going to get a dictionary. <laughs> and then when they open it, you see, it's a quilt kit. So think of the surprise. Don't let them sneak and peek in ahead of time. Hide it in a really good spot, okay? Like maybe put it in a cereal box and put it in the cupboard or something like that to hide it so that people don't know that what they're really getting. Remember when we all got CDs for Christmas? And they, <laughs> the package <laughs> looked exactly like a CD. And you think, oh my, what am I getting this year? Oh, a, a CD. Oh, from Aunt Jo. Oh, another CD. <laughs> they all looked alike. It was hilarious. So anyway, 
This next kit is from Betsy Chechian. She's one of my favorite people in the whole world. She's so sweet. She works for Moda, and this is Harriet's Handmaids, 1820 to 1840. So this is a reproduction fabric line. Um, it is, Peter told me a while ago what size it was, but I can't remember, so we'll have to look on the inside. Um, it's got a nice applique again. Very, very simple applique shapes. And then a border. And then look at this pieced border. I just love that. I think that is so pretty. Brown and pink is one of my most favorite color combinations. And then this is a little garden. So you have to have a little trellis in your garden. So then you've got that as a little trellis. And then the brown fabric that is the border. And so now let's look inside. There's a surprise every time. 64 by 64. 64 by 64. There's the pattern. Very good instructions. Here's a little diagram so that you know what fabrics are what. You get this designer roll of fabric for the appliques and the stars and so forth. And then this, this is a lot of fabric for the money. I think that's a really good deal. Um, my, my niece got married in September of this year. And so I decided to make her a quilt. She's kind of a, likes those modern grays and whites. Uh, not the 50 shades of gray. I don't even know what that's about. It's some book or TV show or something. But anyway, I had to buy 36 fat quarters. How much are fat quarters, Peter? $4. $4. So $4 times 36, that's a chunk of money. Then you got to think about a border. Then you got to think about a backing. Then you got to think about a binding. And then I don't quilt, so I've got to have somebody to quilt it. So, you know, it was a pretty nice chunk of money for a wedding quilt. And so when you look at the prices of these kits and you think, oh, well, that's kind of steep, it's really not. You've got everything you need right here. So it's pretty exciting to get one of these. All your stuff is right together, complete, to make the project. So Santa, get on your sleigh. Get over here to Always in Stitches and get some pretty super neat Christmas gifts. Now, not only do our manufacturers make kits, but we make kits here in-house. And I just wanted to show you a few of those while we were into the kit showing off mode. Okay, Peter and I were loving this a while ago on take one, when we were uh, doing take one, this, I didn't even turn it over before. I can't believe this. But wait, Look, there's more. But wait, we found more that we didn't even see last time. What is this? These are so cute. Oh, these are the things that go, like there's the little quilt. Okay. And remember you were asking me what that says right yeah. there? I wondered I wondered how they were going to get that on there. I thought, <laughs> man, that's a little ink I pen. stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the camera shake. <laughs> so look, look what they included. And it is on printed fabric with a fusible on it. Look at this little fire. And then there's the bear cabin quilt. Oh, my goodness. Evidently... Where they camp, there's a quilt store, and there it is, Bear Cabin Quilts. And then they also have a pie shop. Okay, we're going to find out where this is, where, wherever this is, Peter, we're going to go. Then they have Bear Lake. Now, obviously, you don't have to wear clothes <laughs> at this lake because it's Bear Lake. Get it? Oh, that's why the bird's <laughs> running off with the bear's top. Yes! <laughs> don't feed the bears. No, it says feed the bears. It's scratched out. Right, because <laughs> the bears scratched it out. And then here's the swimming hole. 
And all these things are depicted in this super cute 58 and a half by 70 and a half quilt. I just love this. This is just hilarious. See, look, here's the bird carrying off the top from the bear. The bear just has the hat and the uh, bottoms to the bathing suit. And the bird is carrying off the, the other part. This is the bake shop, the pie shop right there. And there's a bear holding the pie. That is so cute. Look, this is my favorite. Taking a nap. Hello. Love a nap. There you go. Taking a nap. Here's the fireplace, the little uh, campfire. Toasting some marshmallows. Look at this. He's, he's in the tree looking for the honey. And here's the honey bee and the honey uh, skeep or whatever that thing is called, hive, whatever it is. But he's all the way in the tree and it's just his butt hanging out. That's pretty funny. And then there's a quilt at the quilt shop. So if you didn't want to make this into a quilt, what you could do, isn't this the one that had the pattern separate? No, evidently not. I thought this is the one that had the pattern separate. But it is, it's in the fabric. Oh, it is? There's oh. something in the fabric. Okay. Oh yes, here they are. Look, they come individual in the sections. Oh, we should have not been showing them that little one, Peter. We should have showed them the bigger one. Okay, so here's one section. Here's one section. You could make pillows with these. You could make table runners with these. If you had a cabin, I think this would be the cutest thing to put up in your cabin. Such cute, cheery colors. I just, it's just hilarious. Just hilarious. I mean, there's a laugh in every single one of these blocks. Just so cute. Look at that cute camper. Did you ever so go camping? Go, go to the one behind it. There we go. Oh, my goodness. There we go. Oh, my goodness. So, look, that's one of these panels. I mean, that's one the of quote. these little printed yeah. label-y things. It's like a label. Oh, yo-yos. Remember last week we did yo-yos? Yes. Look at there. Wait, there's yo-yos on the quilt? Now that we know how to make them. Oh, that's a cool quilt. Yeah, no, that is neat. And look, I love this stitch, how it scoops around like that. Here's the honey hole. <laughs> that is hilarious. Okay. Very cute stars. They've even got one that's, uh, what do you call that when shooting. a star does? A shooting star. Or it's a falling star. Or a falling star. Yeah, there you go. Excellent. There's the good old berry pie shop. Buttons this time. Oh, and buttons. and guess what? Wait, there's more. The buttons come in the kit. What? Yep. Oh, that's cute. Isn't that cute? Now look, here's the berry bush. It's got berries on it. These are the berry buttons to make the berry oh, pie. Goodness. They thought of everything, didn't they? They did. That's Adorable. Now, really, Peter, let me tell you, if you're going to have a pie shop and you're not going to be able to feed the bears, I think that's just, that's just temptation. That's, that's just maddening is what that is. <laughs> I'm telling you. Okay, now here's the funniest one. There she is. She's going to Bear Lake without her top on because the bird's got her top. That is so funny. That is hilarious. Either we're really tired, Peter, or we've got the giggles today because. Well, I mean, where else can you get that? I've never I, seen that this is just, before. this is has to have, she's, the designer of this had to have a good sense of humor, definitely. You get the Rick Rick, you get the whole business here. And I got to tell you that there's a limited supply. Oh, and if they want honey to really have honey. We have honey, honey here. And we do. I want to know why we have it. I it's know, because when I was showing the honey last week, I said, I don't know why we have honey. But now I know. It's, it's to go with our quilt kits. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, that is so funny. So, anyway, I love this. I think this is the funnest quilt. I would probably be giggling and laughing the entire time I was making this uh, quilt. So, I love that. 
And then here's a, a fun quilt. Oh, they've got this on there so good. You can't see it really good, I guess, but it's called All Hands on Deck. And it's a batik. It's pretty nice because it's really just straight sewing. You've got a square and then a, a border and then another border and then another border and you put them all the borders together and you've got a quilt project. This one happens to be, I have no idea how big this, oh, 54 by 54. And look at all the fun colors. Very tropical, fun, white background, love it. This one, Waverly. Why are all these colors in here if it's a black and white quilt? Well, because we switched it up a bit. We used the, the Waverly pattern, but we made it in the rainbow, which we just followed the colorways, or we made it random. I particularly love the random one myself. What do you think, Peter? You like the random one or I the like rainbow? The random. Yeah, it's pretty it awesome. Put it together, huh? You don't have to think about it. Right. You know, there's no thought process, which is always good for me. <laughs> always good for me. And so here are the beautiful colors, the rainbow of colors. And then you've got this for your borders and your half square triangles, the black. This quilt, surprisingly, is 48 by 64. This little bit of fabric makes a quilt 48 by 64. That just blows my mind. And it's real easy to do. You know, you just put the two fabrics together, draw a line on the diagonal, so a quarter inch away from the line, and then cut on the line, and you've got two half square triangles. Easy peasy. Nice little gift. Comes already in a box. Uh, if you had a beginner sewer, in the family, this would be the perfect project. Very nice um, gift. You could put some scissors in here, some thread. I mean, check out the thread collections. You could put some thread in here and make this a whole big present just for the brand new quilter. Some rulers, that would be so awesome. That some of that, awesome. what about some of that uh, triangle paper? Yeah. Yeah. That by yeah. 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 By yeah. So that would be a good addition into the box. I think I'd love to get that, wouldn't you? A pin cushion, you know, just or a all flying kind of, geese ruler. a flying geese ruler. There's no flying geese in this whole project, but I know, but it's a box and you can stuff it. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Now this one cracks stuff us up. Peter and I were laughing about this one a while ago because it is called the hedge. Does that, one, does that one open so we quilt. can the fabric? It is. I'm going to open it here oh, in a cool. minute. Cool, cool. Hedge Hugs Quilt. Okay? Look at these hilarious hedgehogs. They've got a half square triangle for a nose, and then on the end, <laughs> for the nostrils, it's a little tiny black square. It's hilarious, but this is what's the most fun about this quilt. is not only does it make hedgehogs, but it uses <laughs> hedgehog fabric to make the hedgehogs. I think that is so, oh, look at the little heart. I didn't even, and the paisleys. This is a very girly girl quilt, and I happen to be a very girly girl. Uh, my mom made me that way. And look at all the fun stuff that goes with. And it's already uh, labeled, so you don't have to think very hard. The pattern's right here, very explicit. See, you've got your fabrics. You've got a little note from us. And then the actual pattern. And it's color coordinated. Hedgehog quilt in blue, hedgehog quilt in pink, hedgehog quilt in all the colors. I just love it. The little grass, they're standing on the little grass with their little square feet. Square eyes, square nose. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's hilarious. Oh, what kind of a mood am I in today? Okay, now for you batik lovers, something that will really knock your socks off. Actually, I think I have a pair of socks that look like this, very bright like this. 
But this is the Always in Stitches Star Illusions. Let me open it up for you. These boxes are so nice, Peter. Do we sell these? Uh, nope. We don't? I bet if somebody came in and asked for one, we would. I bet we'd sell it to them. We'd find a price. We'll have to tell Kathy to put in the big order. We will. Okay. So you get the pattern. Nice. And then look at the pretty batiks that come with this. The blues, the turquoise, the pink. This is kind of my favorite one is this kind of sea glass color, which sea glass is not really a color because the color wheel doesn't say sea glass on it anywhere. But these are so pretty. Kind of a turquoisey. Oh, and then you get the border. Oh, and it just ties it all together. It's the border that ties the whole thing together, Peter. The border. It's the border. Remember that when you're selling to people. It's the border that ties the whole quilt together. I like borders. Yep. Okay. Oh, I love a good border. There you go. Very pretty. Okay. No, we still have a stitch pink left. Last one. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And a few of these kits are last ones. Like stitch pink is last one. Um, St. Tropez is last one. Oh my goodness, you guys, you've got to get in here. This stitch pink worked up so pretty. We've we got have it, it hanging. Yeah, we have it hanging here in the store. But what I think is so tremendous about this is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. 30 great quilt blocks that would make wonderful. Look at this, how fun and dimensional that block is right there. Wouldn't that be just a beautiful quilt all on its own with maybe a sashing piece in between, but those nothing really but those guys, blocks? So. I mean, just gorgeous. A lot of these blocks are great just by themselves. I know. I love this one. Of course, I always love a nine patch. Now, on that house, I'd love to put like a little doggy in the window. Oh, of course. How much is that doggy in the window? <laughs> <laughs> the same amount as the kit? No, I'm just kidding. So anyway, this makes a great quilt. And if you have someone in your family that is recovering from uh, cancer, breast cancer, or is in the middle of treatment, this makes j just a very special gift. Uh, and if they sew, you can just give it to them unfinished. <laughs> and then <laughs> it's a double gift. They get a quilt and they get to make it. How fun is that? It's the gift that keeps on giving. It's the and it keeps on sewing. So there you go. I love that. And then our last quilt, Peter and I, neither one know what this uh, St. Topaz is. If it's a person or we don't know. It could we, be an island. It could be an island. It could be a, uh, a prison. We, <laughs> we don't know what it is. So if you know in the comments what St. Tropaz Pez is. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. <laughs> you then just let us know in the comments. It's a block of the month. It's a block of the month. And this is block seven, of course. Oh, what is this? Oh my goodness, you get all these templates. Oh, wait, there's more. There's more. Cozy quilt design templates, phase two. Building blocks with Sharon Craig. She can't write her name Sharon like everybody else. It's one of those weird. And look, there's block one. So they're the same exact block. What? Yes. What's going on? They are the same. Look, here's a four patch. Okay. There's a four patch. Only it's just twisted the other way. Star block, that's a flying geese, flying geese, flying geese, flying geese. Star block, flying geese, flying geese. And then look. How different it looks, but this is a nine patch. Oh. See that? And that's a nine mm -hmm. patch. Different color so combo. see how the block is exactly the same? I see what You're just is. switching up the colors. That's a, number one. It's a flip and rotate. Number two, same thing, same block. Wow, that's so dramatically different. I know. Number three. Number four. Number five, number six, and then number seven evidently is the putting it all together. 
Isn't that neat? That's cool. That is really, really neat. And then I love this zigzaggedy border. It kind of looks like waves. I'm thinking this sink person or whatever has something to do with water because look at all these boats on all this pattern. And then look. Island. It's got to be an island. You think it is an island? Okay. I'll give you that because I have no clue. Then here's the little color chart. But okay, let's go back. More. Let's go back to the to the thread of the month club. Oh, thread of the month. And look at this. If you had this thread of the month club. The wild dog. Look. Look at that. The whale shark. I mean, how perfect is that for this quilt? Could do a lot of great things with that. I'm telling you. This may have to go on. I think Peter is putting this thread on his list for uh, Santa. Yeah, I love that thread. I'm a huge fan of Orofil. Uh-huh, I am too. Now, what do we love about it, Peter? Well, I love that they use a longer staple Egyptian cotton, so it's stronger, a lot stronger thread. It is stronger. I was using it to make my yo-yos, and I didn't have to double the thread because it was so strong that when I pulled it, it didn't break at all. And I mean, I know people that will use a couple strands together, and you can do like cross stitch or embroidery with it. Oh, I didn't know that. It does come in several weights. Now, the club is just the two weights, 40 and 50. But it does come in several, several weights. Uh, I'm not sure if we carry all the weights, but we carry all the ones that are significant to quilting. So, anyway, this has just been a very fun day. Very exciting. We had to do it twice, but uh, it was worth it. I didn't want to. Peter was in the doghouse for a few minutes. But the second time was just as fun as the first time. Now, I'm always asking, <laughs> every time before we start, I say, okay, Peter, how's my hair? And so he tells me it's fine. So in the comments, if there's ever a time when my hair doesn't look like it's supposed to, it's supposed to look like this, I hope, then let me show you something. Let me show you this. Oh, God. Does my hair look 